Welcome back. A deadline is looming for street vendors to get off the streets of San Francisco's Mission District, and those vendors aren't too happy about their options. Not at all. Supervisor Hillary Ronan says it's just too dangerous, though, to allow operations to continue as they have been going. Ground Force Rob Nesbitt spoke with the supervisor, and he's live in the studio with more on the timing of her plan. Rob? Grant Noel, the supervisor, says street vendors will have to relocate sometime next month, but that an exact date and where they'll be able to go is still in the works. This is what the BART stop at 24th and Mission in San Francisco looks like on any given night, but not for long, according to Supervisor Hillary Ronan. Starting next month, street vending with or without a permit will be prohibited because of how dangerous conditions have become. There has been gunshots. There have been regular assaults. There have been extortion um, of the legacy vendors by sort of the vendors involved in, in fencing of goods. It's been six months since the city started requiring proof of a permit, but those from the Department of Public Works walking around the mission enforcing the law have been met with violence. They've been threatened with their lives and assaulted, so much so that they wear bulletproof best to work. She says illegal vendors are the problem and to separate the bad from the good, the city is in the process of renting a storefront on Mission Street that legal street vendors can work inside of, as well as inside BART plazas and a parking lot on 24th Street. Those will be alternative spaces for people that are, um, you know, legally selling goods that they have made or purchased. Um, and that, but, but, but nobody will be allowed to sell those goods on Mission Street itself. The vendors who work the area between Cesar Chavez and 14th Streets aren't happy about the changes. They feel like they've been kicked around a lot on this, that folks have, um, you know, gone through the proper permitting processes. Kevin Ortiz is the co-chair of the San Francisco Latinx Democratic Club that does a lot of the outreach to vendors selling their goods. He says there's a lot of frustrations being felt and that there needs to be more options for locations than have been presented. And we need to have a space for all the vendors that actually went through a proper permitted process, um, not just one storefront. I, I think it should be, frankly, you know, different commercial corridors, um, you know, if, um, as well as different storefronts as well. The street vendor ban will be for at least 90 days and includes anyone selling goods or prepackaged foods. Vendors of handmade food will still be able to sell. Reporting live in studio, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News.